and they were like, oh, they had the hats on, everybody's having a good time. I said, what are these hats worth? I said, what is a national, what is a division championship? What is this conference thing? You said that to him? Yes. I said, I tell you what, I didn't come up here to lose no game. This is, a, this is a different kind of Bronco right here now. Yeah, this nice. Dude, this ain't no Bronco, yeah, that, that, man. That, that's done up. And this is nice, man. Yo, this is for real. This nice. Boy, this Bronco, they made Bronco. These cool now, so these, these are cool, AC cool. On, though. There we these go. are, <laughs> these have hit it right here, boy. Yeah, so tell me about the kid, man. Parsons, man, I, I, I know you. I had him on my show, and I know you work with him. Yeah. He talked to you. You know what the thing is, man? Like, I just finished talking to Michael Parsons yesterday. I usually talk with him a little bit before the game every week. Just get his mindset right on pass rush, some keys, some things that he need to see. And he's one of them kids that take it in like a sponge. A sponge, Oh, dog. man. And dog, I didn't know listen. he was going to be that good. I, listen, I knew he was going to be good. Listen. But, dude. <laughs> Because I was doing the draft, you know, and this dude comes, out, I see this dude, the young dude comes there and like, hey, I said, what's up, man? I'm going to be like, who is this young dude? Right. Who is this young dude right here talking all this noise? Then I said, got close. I said, oh, okay. I noticed it was him. Dude, I, I text Steven. I said, man, I said, listen, I know we wanted to get those corners and, and the skill set would have been greatly used. But this dude is what we need in the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. It's a difference now. Yep. You know, you need that in the locker room. You need that, that that dude that thinks he can make every play, thinks he can do anything. That's exactly he, what he said too when he, right. when I was eating with him yesterday. He yeah. said, "Man, I want to do where I want to make every single play on the football field. Right. I want to make every tackle. I want to get every sack." I said, "You ain't gonna do that. Right, right, right. But you gotta take it <laughs> for what it's worth. <laughs> and the plays that come to you, you gotta get out there and play." Right. It's impossible for him to do it. Right. I want you to believe you can it do is. it. It is. I mean, talking to him, it's his first playoff game. Right. So he was like, DeMarcus, what do I do with the media? Is the, is the game uh, uh, tempo so going to change? Uh, I said, dude, I told him, I said, oh, it's going to change. You don't have 16 weeks. Right. You got one game to do what you need to do. Right. There are no mistakes. The mistakes are narrowed in this game. And so. Correct. He was just looking at me the whole time, just taking it all in. I said, you go out there and do what you need to do. You rush the passer, you create those big, uh, crazy havoc plays that you've been doing. But you're going to have to lead a little bit more. Yeah. yeah As a young good. guy, I said, that rookie tag is gone. Yeah. I said, you are, might as well say, a vet on the team now. So I said, second you, season now. This yeah, is the second season. This, this is it. This is a brand new season. Right. Everybody zero and zero yes. right now. I said, they're depending on you. They are depending on you. And he just said, you know what? I'm going to make sure I don't let them down. Yeah, it's going it, it, to be great to watch, man. It's going to be great to watch. Now, I'm going to tell you something. San Fran, it's going to be a battle now. It's going to be a tough game. These are tough dudes. And, and they, will, they will not come off that run. They're going to run that football, man. You know, you know when we played, that was a huge rivalry game. Right. And right. I'm talking about when you play, talk talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I got to feel a little bit of it, and then it, t it sort of tailed off a little bit. And what was that rivalry right game back against San Francisco? And, and, and right now, people in San Francisco are going crazy because it's Dallas. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Now, remember those things flip. Bob Dwight, Clark had the catch, and, and, yeah. and, and San Fran dominated for a while, and we went back up there. Yeah. And we came back up there like, you know, hey, <laughs> new stick. Right. That old stick gone, this new stick in town now. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And then we dominated. They were the 80s, and we came behind and dominated in the 90s. And both teams now have had a little success, but no, neither has been to the top. Even though San Fran went to the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Right. So this is this is going to be a huge game, man. Okay, you got to think. When I got here, man, when we first got it, we, we went through, oh my God, we went through the one in 15, the three in 13. You know, and I was coming from Miami. I had never, I had lost, lost two, game. three games a, in, in my whole career. Right, right. My three years at Miami, maybe I lost two, three right. games. My whole career. So now I was sitting here, wow, wow, man, what is this, man? We losing, we losing. And we finally get good enough to go in and get, get to make it to the playoffs. You knew you I weren't going to lose. I never forget. You weren't going to lose. You, you I never forget. 
it was, and, and, and we we played Chicago. Oh my God, it was phew. Was it first cold? Play, it, was, it was cold, it was cold. <laughs> and no matter what, no matter what I used to say, man, it's just another game, it's just another game. And you say that, because you have to, especially if you've never been there, you got to prepare your mind to do what you got to do. I got to yeah. go play football. Right. This is just another game. But when you get there, you know this is not another game. For me, like my like biggest memory, especially like playing here, I remember, I mean, I mean, I seen Larry Allen, right? I mean, you remember Larry Allen, Flozell Adams, it was Tony Romo, Marion the Barbarian, T.O., huge right, name. Right, 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 right. And we were like 13, three. So I'm sitting there like, ain't nobody gonna beat us, but when we come out of the, the stadium, we come out of that, that tunnel, we like the monsters. We were huge. Yeah, who y'all playing? Everybody this was this big. our first playoff game. Yeah, first time. <laughs> my first time. Yeah. Everybody was huge. They used oh, to tell yeah. us, beware, we can't even compete with y'all. We would just run cover two. We just line up and just play cover two and just say, y'all run the ball on us. Y'all beat us. Nobody. Every every time LA doing like this, we running straight behind LA. That boy LA was a beast, boy. Monster. You ain't hear nothing you can do about Larry Allen. And then we get up here and we lose. Giants. You remember that? I remember that game, dog. Then I went to Denver, right? That was a whole different beast. Because that was my first time ever winning a game in the playoff. And I was like, oh! Yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh, they had the hats on, everybody's having a good time. I said, what are these hats worth? I said, throw these hats down. What are y'all happy for? That's what they were saying. I said that. You told them that yes. in Denver? Yes. I said, what is a national, what is a division championship? What is this conference thing? You said that too? Yes. Me? I said, I tell you what, I didn't come up here to lose no game. Six o'clock tomorrow, I'm gonna be ready at the front door. Y'all better be ready. Cause this is why y'all brought me here. For these moments. For this moment right here. I right. said, we're never gonna get it back. I was ready at six o'clock, 559, sitting at the front door, opening up the door with 12 degrees outside. I said, it's time to work. It's, it's time to work. It's time to, it's time to work. Every day, it's time to work. D-Ware, you, why you, why you so strict on us, man? I said, that's why y'all brought me here. Yeah. Because I said, if y'all get me in the playoffs, we ain't losing. Yeah. If y'all get me into the Super Bowl, we're not losing. And that's what I try to tell these young dudes now. I said, let me tell you something, man. I said, we old, man. I'm old. I can reminisce about my history. That's all I can do. You're writing yours. Writing. Man, you better write well. And they have a chance, I'm gonna tell you what, they have a chance this year. Yeah, they got a shot. To win the Super Bowl. Yeah, they shot. have a shot. But everybody right. got a shot right now. Yeah. yeah. Everybody got a shot. But what because everybody Because guess what, you know. don't know. Right, you don't know. Everybody got a shot. But D, who's doing what you did? D, right here, right now, that's the important part of what we're talking about. Who do they have to do what you did in Denver? to hold accountable this moment. Who is that in the locker room that you like, man, I hated playing with him in the home. locker room, but I love playing with him on the field. Right. Who is that guy? Who's that guy, right? That's that's what I'm looking for. And I hope he, uh, he, he better more, turn it on. got to be it. I, I've heard a lot of good things about some of the dudes. Like the first and all these guys, and how great and hard they are, and how hard they work, and great leaders, and I hope so. Because right here, we're going to need it. Yep. He has been all right, man. I yeah, sure man. enjoyed this, man. It's a nice truck. And man. we can say that, dog. No joke. And this ain't about us just talking. To... This really is a cold truck. <laughs> this is a cold truck, man. This Bronco is This truck serious. is cold. It's cold.